How's the pump? Good? It's getting there. Show you the way. I'll show you the way. Not bad. How many was that? 15. 15 reps? 250 and 15 reps. 250 now? 250, yeah. Going up? Yeah, but it's like I got a diet right now. I got to get in shape for something. So it's like uh, trying to get heavier and trying to get leaner at the same time. Do a little bit more cardio and workouts are a little, a little bit more intense. I mean, you're always so fucking tense, I guess. So, but you know, when you get you, you work out and you're so used to your own level of working out because you feel like you always gotta up at another level and now I don't, you don't realize that how hard you're working out that's how I feel anyway so every time it's fucking hard to go harder than last time let's go pussy oh. nobody does chimps anymore you know what? Since the first day I started working out, I've done chimps, because when I first started training, I didn't have any fucking equipment. I had plastic dumbbells and plastic fucking crappy shit to work out with in my basement, in my parents' basement. So I used to, uh, I didn't have a chimp bar either, so what I do was, I, outside my, my door of my house, there was a little ledge, so I used to just do chimps like this, just hanging like this. I did that for like four years. So I think ever since then, I've done chin-ups over 20 years. So I don't know, I just always kept doing them. I don't know why. I always want to still be able to do it. Even the biggest I've ever been, I've been 280 before, I can still do them. Confession. I lied in one of my videos. I said there is no secret, but there is a secret. It's music. Fucking music, man. Change everything. You fuck, I come to the gym, I don't want to fucking be here. Yeah. I put on fucking some fucking crazy shit. It's time yeah. to go fucking nuts. I try to get like a set number. I try to aim for like a number like 50. I think it was an old thing that Arnold, Arnold used to do. He used to pick a number, and it didn't matter how many sets he had to do, he had to get like 50 reps, so. If it took you five sets or three sets or four sets, whatever, you just gotta get to that number. And I haven't done chimps actually, I haven't really done them a lot lately. So 50 and work my way up, you know, maybe next time I try to get 60. Or maybe, you know what, I tried to get 50 and like add weight. Get like a dumbbell. Can you waste and stuff like that when your legs and shit? Put like a 50 pound dumbbell so you're like 300 pounds, do chimps. I would say that every, nobody fucking does chimps anymore, man. I want to fucking see people start doing chin-ups. Warner Brothers called. A few good men. They gave you the lead. Whoa. Yeah, now, now it's a bidding war. You've you seen, you seen uh, Predator, right? I saw Predator. Yeah. You know, yeah. Arnold and... Uh, Dylan, you son of a bitch. What's the matter? Pushing too many pencils? Yeah, you got you pushing too many pencils. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> Thank you for being a mutant. Amazing. Everything's bigger in Texas, but everything's biggest in Newfoundland. <laughs> Newfoundland, Canada. Most people don't know what that is, though. Uh, That's but, the problem. Show they... them the map on the graphic, right? Show Newfoundland, and everything's bigger there. <laughs> Amazing. Miguel in the house right there. Of the diet. Yeah. I had internet last night. Oh, you did? Internet and donuts. Fuck. No, I know it's, but it's okay. I mean, it was, it was a planned, uh, a planned cheat day. So I try to do uh, once a week. More like a high carb day. Upped all my carbs for one day, and then I had a cheat meal. So 
But it's all planned. It's not just to have a cheat meal fucking for because because I want it because I want it every fucking day. I don't really do like super low carbs, but when I do lower it, I find every after like four or five days, I'm really starting to flatten out. So I need to like up the calories a lot and up the carbs a lot. This helps me feel back out and stuff. Plus I'm doing cardio and you know training pretty hard. I just feel like I need it. You know, eating so clean. Everybody's different, but my the way my body is, I know that I need to like up the calories every every like five days. Should get pretty good pump today though. I'll have another! <laughs> they only knew what that meant, right? Yeah. Let's see if anybody gets it. I like this drink. I'll have another! Yeah, that was heavy. That was heavy. Maximum capacity? Yeah. Full load? That was Full maxing loading. out. That was maxing out there. But it was good though. 10 reps. Fuck. It's heavy. Heavy rows. Nah, it's not heavy enough, man. It's never fucking heavy enough. It's time to get fucking big again, man. It's all in my fucking mind is just get fucking big. I feel certain already. That means good news. And the vein starts to show. Yeah, so let's go through the shirt. It's not a wrinkle, it's not a wrinkle. It's a vein. Still easy. How's the pump, good? Getting there. Still got more to do. It's not good enough. You wanna know why I'm doing that? How come? Does anybody wanna know? Or I just fucking don't care. I think everybody probably wanna know. I like doing this. Because when you come down to the bottom, you can like spread it out. So it comes like this. Because with the fixed bar, not the, I use the fixed bar too, but you come down, you stay here. So this one, you come out and you can spread it and get a little bit more of a flex, right? Ah, oh, it just feels better. For me. So that's the fucking reason. favorites. That one always gets a going there. Just because they want it. Gotta put both of them together just to create one Frank McGrath forearm. I got another trick. One more trick. Can you see my arm right now? Veins. Nothing. This is That's not rush. It's a good 
Good it's trick. It's because I fucking bored all day. You're too big for the for the military. You don't fit. Well, you know what? I almost got a military. I know, but they they said you're too big. On my sheet, it said morbidly obese. <laughs> I swear to God, I was like 265 or something. M mutantly muscular. Well, you know, Arnold would say he's a mutant. You know, he mutated. He was normal, and then he mutated. And I met mutant, Arnold once. You know? He met you. He told me he met you. Oh, he told you. He's story? like he said. I met Frank. It was amazing. I'll never forget this moment. Where was it at? Uh, at a at a. At a it show? was at the. I think it was at the Arnold. At the Arnold. You know, he walks around to all the booths and stuff. Yeah, yeah. This is my claim to fame, okay? Right. My claim to fame story. So we're at the, you know, the cage, the animal booth, and uh, you know, Arnold walks around all the all the booths, all a few of them. Yeah. So I says, I, I don't get starstruck by anybody, but Arnold's Arnold, right? We um, can we can all be starstruck by Arnold. And so I get up, you know, I know he's coming. They say, hey, Arnold's gonna be here in five minutes. You know, get ready for a picture. I'm like, Fuck, everybody get in my fucking way. I'll get up front. <laughs> so he comes up and stands right next to me. He's saying, like, right where you are right now. He's like this. And I'm like, I had, I had the picture, actually. I'm gonna post, I'll post it on my, post it tomorrow. I'll post it on my Instagram. And um, so I took a picture. That was it. But everybody was like, Frank, show me your porn. Ah. And then he, he was like, what, what? What are you guys talking about? So I just, I was just ready. I knew how to make it rainy. I just went, yeah. everything I had, right? And he was like, oh my God. He goes, I've never seen anything like that before in my life. Wow. And you know, I was like, come on, I don't, like, you know, you've seen everybody, right? Yeah. He said, that's the most amazing forearm I've ever seen. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, <laughs> like, oh, okay. so, so you're a little kid and you're watching Pumping Iron. You're a yeah. little kid, you see Arnold. Yeah. And then that moment happens. In one word, what was your emotion? Like, what, did you, what did you feel? I just felt like I finally, I don't know if I finally made it or, I don't know, amazing. man. It's, 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 a hard, it's a hard thing to experience. Remember when he walked away, I didn't even know what to say. But he got me something, he said something else though. What did he say? So I had a watch on. You know, and you, usually I gotta, I gotta get a pretty big watch. Sure. Watch because it looks stupid on your arm, it's too small. <laughs> and uh, he starts, he's, he's, like, he's like pointing at my watch. Yeah. I'm like, I said, what's, what are you talking about? He's, you need a bigger watch. And I was like, I didn't, I was like, what, why? And he hauls up his sleeve and it's a fucking, wow. Like a stupid on the wall, right? Yeah. I was like, he's like, <laughs> and he walks away. And I was just like, and you know what? Also, the other guy, the big guy from 300, I forget his name. He's, he's on the video over here too. The big guy from yeah okay he comes me to his oh wow and so I was like wow man, that was like the best thing you know what I always said to myself I was like I don't ever want to meet Arnold again because it will never be good as that moment there you go you know what I mean so, so was, give us the forearm one more time this is the forearm that Arnold saw action wow do it baby yeah it comes with sound effects <laughs> amazing that's <laughs> a great you, story thank you. thank you for that it was it was I, yeah. a very special moment for yeah. me I gotta say. But it's funny because in his uh, Instagram, he's been looking for him ever since. He talks about that. Moment. Yeah, he said, "Did I miss Frank McGraw?" And I saw it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Amazing. Oh fuck. I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> what are you listening to there? Fucking nothing, man. So underhand grip on this one? Yeah. I've been doing it lately, and uh, I know it's really like where it's hitting on my back and shit. It's fucking hard though, too. Not many people do it. Everyone starts for the easy fucking way out. I found lately. I, found, I even I'm guilty too because I found for years when I had so many injuries and bullshit like that that I started like doing easier shit. So now, I try to think, I look back to the, what made me get bigger first. And uh, I'm trying to do things that are, are harder or that I don't want to do as much. Because, you know, I think the things that you don't want to do or the harder ones is gonna make you better. You keep doing the same shit all the time, the easy shit, you're not really gonna get any better.